Three Pillars of Successful Shrimp Keeping. I'm a big advocate of my system of three pillars of shrimp keeping. Let's dig further into this topic and wishing you success in your shrimp keeping adventures. Hey there, Ray here, your go-to guy for all things aquatic on RW Aquarium pages. Whether you're a loyal subscriber swimming back for more, or a brand new friend that is diving into the underwater world, a warm welcome to you. Get ready to join me in an exciting journey through the lush aquascapes of planted aquariums, the bustling life of shrimp tanks, and every watery wonder in between. We're about to deep dive into the aquatic adventure together. I currently have over 26 aquariums full of shrimp, thriving and breeding. Mostly Caridina shrimp, crystal and bee and with three tanks of Neocaridina shrimp, the cherry shrimp, and two tanks of Silhouette shrimp. With over 20 plus years of experience in this hobby, I feel that there are three pillars to successful shrimp keeping. My three pillars of successful shrimp keeping is very simple. One, water parameters within range. Two, quality shrimp. And three, patience. It's just as simple as that, but let's delve deeper into this topic. The first one we will discuss in this video is water parameters within range. Know which type of shrimp that you're going to get and set your water parameters closely for them. In the marine and reef hobby, many suggest that keeping the stable water and correct water parameters is all there is to it. For neocaridina shrimp, the cherry shrimp, Bloody Mary, Blue Dreams, etc. will do well in most clean freshwater parameters. But I've kept them in three different scenarios. The first one in low pH, low hardness, which is caridina water parameters. The second one in neutral. And the third one in silhouette parameters, which is high pH and harder water. All three colonies are doing well in breeding. So they do well in a wide range of water parameters. In this case, they will do well in most clean tap water making it easier for everyone without the needs of an RODI unit. For caridina shrimp, the crystal and the bee, they do well in lower pH and softer water with 1 to 0 degrees of carbonate hardness. Some examples like the crystals do well in slightly lower pH around 6.5 to 6.8 and your typical GH of around 100 parts per million. Some higher-end caridina shrimp, for example red galaxy fishbone and boas, are bred in lower pH, for example 6 to 5.5. I currently keep my caridina shrimp all in a pH of 5.5. You'll probably need an RODI unit in this case to make the water with a base of 0 and then add back GH to the desired levels. The key to this is keeping it stable and within range. Some Caridina tiger shrimp are bred in low pH and soft water, and some are bred in neutral pH and soft water. So check with your breeder to see what water parameters that your source breeds them in the shrimp in. I recently got a few messages asking about tiger shrimp, specifically the orange eye blue tiger, OEBT, and they mentioned that they were kept in Neocaridina water parameters. So watch out for this. If you're into the more delicate Silhouette shrimp, They'll need a pH of around 7.5 to 8.5, depending on the type, and also slightly warmer waters. So with all this said, it's key to know what type of shrimp you're getting and the water parameters they were bred in. Stability and within range is key for water parameters. The second pillar of my theory in successful shrimp keeping is quality shrimp. That will be in our next video. What are some key pillars in your shrimp keeping and breeding adventures that you find necessary? Comment below and let's have a discussion on this important topic. I absolutely love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone. It's just so exciting to document my journey in planted shrimp tanks and to share it with others. Stay tuned for more informative videos. 
as I've got plenty of content in store for you. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day and happy shrimp keeping.